All right, thanks, Chris. Uh, Tampa, again, really getting the benefits of that move down trade when they were able to get Warren Sapp. They have three number twos going into the second round. Talking to the people before this draft, there was still a big need for a linebacker. Remember, this was a defense that played a 4-2-5 nickel situation defense through the whole game last year. I kind of think that they're maneuvering themselves for Derek Brooks, the linebacker from Florida State. That'd be a good pick. Sam Weiss told me that he was ready to move at the end of the first round if his guy was available. This might be that move. Chris? All right, Gary, thank you, and, and thank you, Chris. So the Buccaneers, very busy, moving down, now moving up. So Tampa Bay would end up with two first-round selections. We have five picks left in the first round. Tampa Bay, San, and, and only one of them is, was there at the start of the day. Tampa Bay, San Diego, Cleveland, Kansas City, and Green Bay. That's how the, the end of the first round will work. I set the over-under at the first round at 5.53 and a half minutes. And so we got about an hour to go. We got to get five picks in. I played the under. It's going to be close. Pick is coming in for the Buccaneers. We'll see if Gary had this one corralled. Let's go up to the podium. Or maybe not quite yet. Could be a long name. <laughs> <laughs> a pronunciation. Well, here's the blue draft the card and then the pick. So we haven't card. had the, the trade card. I mean, we have not had that announced here yet. Dallas has. Uh, traded its pick to uh, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay with the uh, 28th pick in the first round has selected linebacker from Florida State, Derek Brooks. And uh, in return for that pick, Dallas acquires two picks from Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay's second round pick in this draft, which is number 41, and a uh, the 63rd selection in this draft, which uh, Tampa Bay had acquired from Philadelphia. So Dallas has the 41st and the 63rd pick in this draft. San well, we Diego. had Derek Brooks a couple of picks early. He's a, he's a good player. And the Buccaneers now have gone with Warren Sapp on the defensive front. And he's gone with uh, Derek Brooks at linebacker. So with uh, defense, the move for Sam Weish. In Tampa, first year under new ownership, the Glazer family, Mel. Well, Derek Brooks is a six foot and a quarter, 227 pound, undersized linebacker. It's going to have to fit into that type of scheme down in Tampa. When you really look at him at, uh, at Florida State, great tackler in the open field, uh, remarkable job, always around the ball, intense football player, great instincts. There he is picking up the fumble, scooping it up, and, and when he gets into the broken field, he's a defensive back. Uh, as I said, only 227 pounds, runs pretty well, maybe in the 4.65 range. That's why he really couldn't project to a safety spot in the NFL. He had to be a true linebacker. We're getting chased down Greg DeLong there, a tight end uh, in the open field again. I think he'll be one of the best special teams tacklers in the NFL right away. See the ability there around the ball comes away with the interception but as a tackler a special teams guy a coverage linebacker in their scheme he'll fit in pretty well to a team Chris it's pretty desperate for some outside linebackers not only are they desperate Mel but I think you have to take a look at the sequence of events that have transpired you have a new defensive coordinator in Rusty Tillman down there remember Rufus Porter in Seattle where Rusty Tillman was the defensive coordinator this guy fits in almost to the perfect mold of a Rufus Porter. Not real big, give you a great rush off the corner, relentless effort, and if he does get his hands on the ball, there's a chance you wind up with points. So it looks like Rusty's getting some people to fit into the philosophy that he wants to teach and preach and, and have in Tampa. Coming in a quick drop. Alvin Williams has got it, breaks a tackle, and gets the first down. Tampa Bay has the ball at the Talk about the other linebacker in this unit, Derek Brooks. He got in on that play there. There's a young kid out of Florida State, great athlete. They just have to bring him along slow and show him and tell him exactly what points he can rush and do things. He's going to get the whole concept. They really think this guy's going to be a heck of a player for him in the future. A rarity for the Eagles this time. And Waters immediately brought down. Derek Brooks hits him in the backfield, another loss for the Eagles. And who's there with him but his partner, the other first round draft choice, Warren Sapp. Great job by both these guys. They weren't fooled here. Setting up a screen, nothing there. And right in the middle of it, Derek Brooks. 
Well, Brooks uses his quickness, and more importantly, he uses his savvy. And you say, savvy, this guy's only a rookie, but he's a rookie who's already playing like a veteran. There he is in the middle of the screen, 55. He sees Salam, and he sees, he senses and feels that screen. He gets right out there into the middle of it and fouls the whole thing up. And eight. Rodney Thomas loses three yards, met by the rookie Derek Brooks. Ten yards to go from the 34 for Mitchell, trailing by three in his two-minute offense. He comes a pass down the middle, almost picked off by rookie Derek Brooks. It'll be second down, going for the tight end, David Sloan with Scott Mitchell. First and ten for the Buccaneer, 46, a little play action by Mitchell. He's winding it up deep and looking long. Perriman knocked away. Dimry, number 39. And Demry's speed is excellent there. Oh, the quarterback. Oh, he's only he's hurt. When you throw your helmet, the doctor doesn't need to tell you you're hurt. Look at that. There's a guy in pain. That's second time, second time that he has been whacked pretty good today. Hurt his arm and his wrist the first time. Derek Brooks zeroed in on him this time. Oh, an injury timeout in Pontiac. Illegal contact to call against Michael Day. Palmer tripped up all the way back to the 29. Good play made by Derek Brooks. So the touch of season. And he is upended in the backfield. Derek Brooks, who has throughout his rookie season. Been a key on the Buccaneers' defense in terms of tackles for losses, as you spoke about earlier. Right, and you look at Derek Brooks, and you don't see a very big linebacker, six feet, two and a quarter, but the one thing that he does do, he reacts to the ball quickly, and he will hit you. And right there, and this kid, you know, he's a rookie, but they're talking about him and saying that he played the game schedule. He only have to average 62.5 a game. Reverse. Brooks. Has some blockers ahead, but a great tackle from Derek Brooks at the 38-yard line. Second-year man out of Florida State with a big hit. Watch Derek Brooks. He's all the way over here to the left of your screen, and he's been all over the field thus far. I really like this guy. I think he's their best defensive player, and he's got all the ability in the world. Look at him run. Brett doesn't see him, and he gets right by him, and he comes all the way across the field and drags down the reverse. Wasn't fooled at all. And, you know, he... he... Lions on offense from the 41. And around the Johnny Morton. Nothing there. They ran it well. Good play by Derek Brooks. They ran that thing three times last because he had that big play in those 15 carries. Sanders going wide. Nothing there. He picked up 14 on the previous play. Stopped by Lynch and Derek Brooks. Third and three. Oh. Intercepted. Picked off in the middle by Derek Brooks. Second time tonight that Elway's been intercepted. This defense has played awfully well tonight. And, and they've had a fumble and they had the interception there. The second by Elway. And Elway, he kind of looked around at the rush. He looked behind him. Good protection. He wants to know who's behind him. Pumps. See the, see the, the look there? And they just kind of dumps it. Never even saw Derrick Brooks at that point. Another one of those emerging players that we've talked about. Ill-advised throw. And Trent Dilfer now has a chance to put his team in the lead for, in the fourth quarter for the first time this year. Six tackles. On 16. Crowd noise rises. Hostetler operating from his 10. And a good open field tackle by Brooks on Derek Fenner. As once again, the Tampa Bay defense rises to the moment. There's a flag down and not leaving it time for the Bucs to, to finish it off. Second and seven, you saw Kicker Cole Ford adjusting his shoes on the sideline. Hostetler throws to Harvey Williams. Brilliant play by Derek Brooks. Wow, Derek Brooks. He's having some he, he is having some year. Because he does not want to be a fashion guy. As a result, he becomes the guy. Johnson cannot slip the tackle. In the open field, Derek Brooks, the second year pro out of Florida State, the leading Buccaneer tackler on the year. It's hard to hold on to it. Third and 11, Collins throws and nearly intercepted by Derek Brooks. 
So the Panthers, who are given Jamie Asher, the star on the rise in tight end for Washington. Good play as Terry Allen was sprung out. Donnie Abraham was over there along with Derek Brooks in their last game at Dallas. They try to get it going, and Allen jumps forward for about a one-yard gain. Derek Brooks made the hit. Up. Leroy Horde has changed the entire approach of this offense. Breaks a tackle in the backfield, pushes forward to the 45, lost the ball, and it may belong to Tampa Bay. It does. An early turnover, and it belongs to the Buccaneers. Horde broke a tackle, then lost the football, and Tampa Bay will take over at the Minnesota 45. Well, watch, there's Reagan Upshaw. He's the one that gets penetration and makes the play bounce outside. Then Nickerson comes up, and then watch who comes up in the middle. That's Derek Brooks. He's a linebacker, I'm telling you, Joe, that he didn't get a Pro Bowl mention because he doesn't have any sacks. But this guy is all over the field. See him put his helmet right on the ball? Donnie Abraham came away with a his Pro Bowl caliber. Second down and eight. Johnson incomplete, and only his second incompletion of the game. And Brad Johnson a little hot. Derek Brooks made the stop. And Derek Brooks is a fabulous player, fabulous linebacker. Here's a linebacker that leads this team in passes defended. Most people have this safety or a corner or something like that. That's, that's a linebacker. Now, he didn't go to the Pro Bowl because he doesn't have many sacks. This is out with an injury. Young is losing from a first quarter hit. And look out! He got away. Maybe the game's best rushing quarterback ever. Still on the move and decked at the 24. He felt that one. Rufus Porter was there. Garrett Brooks at his side. Well, I'll say this. Rufus Porter, he's showing no mercy. He went after Young. Young wasn't going to slide. And you'll hear the noise. You'll hear the physical contact because they were after him. And they want Young to run less. They want him to stay in the pocket more and run less. But that wasn't the situation here. Oof. Wait, this is where Warren Sapp has a big smile on his face. And here come the Buccaneers and Derek Brooks, the third-year man out of Florida State, records the second sack of the day this, by Tampa Bay. This is what you love as a defense, a known passing situation. It enables you to take chances. Here's Derek Brooks coming. There's a safety coming off the corner. There's not enough blockers. Barnett sneaks in on the left side. This time they hand it off to Joe. Brooks, number 55. Yeah, Derek Brooks is a rising star. Again, another one of those guys you don't hear much about. 133 tackles like that a year ago. Started the season off right with 11 tackles against San Francisco. You know, he can play like that physically. He can rush the passer. He had a sack last week. And he's very good in the pass game. This guy, Derek Brooks, is a heck of a player. Unbelievable speed, and you saw some of the power. Nine tackles. They go inside. No! Derek Brooks! And Derek Brooks says, call my number. There's no way you're going to get it over me. Two super plays in a row right there. Picture perfect tackling. He finds a way to slip in between the linemen and get up there and knife through and nail Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in midair. Right there, you can see him. Hit some... He's wide open. First down and 15. Graham? Oh, man. Pass to wow. to Kevin Williams, but a short game. You know the amazing thing about that was? I mean, that hit is just incredible. And it's not Hardy Nickerson. It's Derek Brooks. And, and Derek Brooks has raised the level of his game to the all-pro Hardy Nickerson. And you confuse their numbers, not just because a five and a six look close to each other, but because the way they hit is so similar. Look at that. Just knocked him right up. Oh. Starts in motion and goes back, and Sanders is tackled. Once again, Derek Brooks with a very good first quarter and a loss of two yards. On play. Tenth play of the drive, first and goal. Falk with Crockett leading him. Down at the one. At the line of scrimmage and no gain, and Derek Brooks, the leading tackler, one of the NFL's top linebackers, the first half of the season, makes the stick.
and Brooks has had some injury, was not able to practice because of a, a pull in his quad, but when he's healthy and he's playing, him and Hardy Nickerson, I don't know where you find two better players. And they blow up, they blow that run up, which looked like it was going to be a touchdown. Yes, they do. First down. Whoa. Curtis Martin is shut down. Derek Brooks leading the defensive charge. Charlie, this defense, one, the linebacker sit real deep. Here's Brooks right here. That's Nickerson makes him go outside. Now, Anatu kind of makes sure that Curtis Martin goes nowhere, and then Derek Brooks. From a shotgun, blitz is shown. It's picked up. Thrown, knocked away. It will be fourth and six. It'll be three and out for the third time in a row. That was dead. But again, New England down only by a score of 10 nothing. Whoa. To see if they can get something started, and they can. And Curtis Martin loses more yardage. Derek Brooks on the blitz. First snap of snap of the second half. He's untouched. That is a great call by Monty Kiffin, the defensive coordinator. Tampa Bay is at Chicago. Deep over the middle. It's intercepted. Tampa Bay has the ball again. Rumble. Derek Brooks. He drops the ball on the ground. Hardy Nickerson recovers it. Chris is what the in his first few years in the league. Third down and ten. Canell getting pressure is hit as he lets go, and the pass is intercepted by Brooks, and now they rule an incompleted pass. That was on Warren Sapdick. Warren Sapp made that play. Oh no, that now they do. That's a pick. Now they do rule an interception. Yeah, he'd be in real speed to be able to push anything. From the 39-yard line, the swing point has incomplete for Barber. And it was Derek Brooks who made sure Barber wasn't going to do much. And he's limping off, so there goes there goes more strikeability out the window. They have aggravated that hamstring, uh, which uh, has been a problem for him since early in the season. I'll tell you who's got strikeability, Derek Brooks, 55, and also Hardy Nickerson. Because when they see something... And two from the 43-yard line. Kramer, three for three so far. Pump fakes, throws and out of the hands of Curtis Conway. Well, the Bears may not have completed that pass, but I'll tell you, Kenny, Eric Kramer has had time. And all you have to do is compare what's happened to Trent Dilfer on the other side of the field, and you know that this offensive lineup here is doing a nice job of blocking these guys out. I mean, there's the pocket, there's the time. He's got a throwing lane. It's just a nice hit by Derek Brooks to break this pass up. Here's Brooks right here. This is one of the reasons why he's going to go to the Pro Bowl. Third down and seven. Three wide out. Kramer took a hit from Derek Brooks. Great pass rush by Derek Brooks. He comes on the blitz, and it's one thing to be blitzed and come clean. Brooks doesn't come clean. Watch him right here, and Darnell Autry tries to pick him up. Look at the move he puts on Autry. Leaves Autry just laying there on the ground, looking like a... Third down and ten. Rolling right, side on. Derek Brooks was right there, all over Ronnie Hart. Meyer on second down. And he is met by Derek Brooks, who Tim was given a Pro Bowl shirt last year by Hardy Nickerson, his fellow. Yes, three new blimps are probably at the blimp factory. Barry Sanders gets the carry, and he doesn't make it back to the line of scrimmage. You know, that's a great shot of defense, though. I mean, that's a great shot of having all those red jerseys around Barry Sanders. There was no place to... 10 Detroit. Sanders gets the carry, chased backwards and dragged down by Derek Brooks. Levens again. Heads outside. Tripped up by Derek Brooks. A lot of targets and the pass broke nice off. Job. It was intended for Brooks. And uh, making the play there was the uh, Derek linebacker, Brooks. Derek Brooks. Yep. Barb out to Levens and a big tackle made by Derek Brooks. 
will force the Packers to kick. So Brooks making an open field tackle, preventing Green Bay from getting a first. And Ty Hallett goes in motion, and the handoff to Edgar Bennett, and a fine defensive play. Hardy Nickerson, or I should say Derek Brooks, like Nickerson, having a big game. Well, what he does is, they, see, this is where they excel, where you can let them use their speed to run to stuff. If you go right at this group of linebackers, they're not the biggest group. But watch what he, what he does, Derek Brooks, is he sees this, and he runs right through. I mean, that's that's excellent defense. He's having himself another big year. Went to the Pro Bowl a year ago, really can scoop. And the crowd finally showing some energy here for the defense, third and four coming up. And it's a handoff to Bennett. He gets tripped up by Brooks, Brooks again. again. That's a nice play by Derek Brooks. And he saved the first down. That's a big third down. See, they need something to get going here, and Brooks is providing. Burline gets it complete. Lucin, uh, make it Mark Carey and fumbles the ball. Recovered by Anthony Parker. And Tampa Bay has it. Getting the ball to Musa Muhammad, who breaks the first tackle. But here comes Derek Brooks, strips the ball. Now the ball is loose. Coverage, which is covered too. Oliver's four for four, the toss to Davis, and he's oh. hit. Oh, good hit by Derek Brooks. Wow. Man, does he get to the ball carrier in a hurry. You're That's, looking at all pro material right here. That is a fast pursuit. Nobody can chase the ball any faster than Tampa Bay. Watch him run. There's one little opening. He's right up through it. Derek Brooks, helmet right on him. He'll be right here. The 55 coming right up and in. Nice hit. Nice. Randall Cunningham gets hit as he throws, and the pass is intercepted. And it's Derek Brooks. He's still going. And the first turnover of the game. Dumps it off to George, and waiting for him is Derek Brooks. And three. Play fake. Moreno steps up, batted down. Derek Brooks got up. The linebacker works out of the shotgun now. They toss it left. That one went nowhere. Derek Brooks with another tackle, and so the Steelers trailing by ten. The line formation from the 14, handoff to the row. Oh, what a stick! Brandon Bennett is hit the belly button. It knocked backwards by Derek Brooks. Textbook tackle technique by the kid that's going to Hawaii for the Pro Bowl for the second time in his career. What a hit! He's uncontested, number one. Does a great job of slipping by the fullback, straight up in the numbers. For four on third down tries. Graham gonna run, and he's brought down. Derek Brooks was the man who brought him down short of a first down. Kid Grip. Bennett trying to get outside, tripped up. Beautiful tackle by Derek Brooks. The Bucks MVP last season. From the shotgun. Greasy throws this side complete. That's short of the first down. Shannon Sharp brought down by Derek Brooks. Boy, did Derry Brooks close in a hurry. You almost got out of that unscathed. <laughs> Straighter underneath. Excellent coverage by Derek Brooks, who can run with anybody. Boy, uh, you know, you got Schrader, who's... The penalty is on the defense. But now on third and 17. Fires across the field, and it is picked off by Derek Brooks. His first interception of the season, his fifth career pick, and penalty markers following the return. Receivers, they start from their own 29. They have one timeout. Miller pump fakes and then throws off the fingertips of Edgar Bennett. Now it's another screen pass and another failed screen pass. And again, it's the speed of these linebackers that makes you, you know, makes you so unsuccessful with this thing. Watch Brooks. Brooks does the, handles this perfectly. He sees the blockers. He runs through them, past them, and just wham, right into Bennett. 
second and ten from the 29. Miller over the top to Ryan Wetnight, wrapped up by Derek Brooks. A gain of eight to the 37. Again, there's the consistency of Ryan Wetnight. Miller doing a nice job running this offense here, the two-minute offense. Four wide receivers on third down. Wetnight Dang. picks up the first down. Also is hit hard by Brooks. The play had been blown dead. Hey, that is incredible toughness by Ryan Wetnight. Did you see that hit? That's I heard it. Second, yeah, you could see it. You can almost feel it. Watch Wet Night. And now they say incomplete. Incomplete? Boy, I don't know. I, I don't know how that could be incomplete. They're going to have to take a look at that. I, it's hands, but I, I, didn't, I didn't know if, if I saw it hit the ground. Here it is. Wait. There's the hit. Second and ten. Miller's pass picked off. Second interception of the day for Derek Brooks. And that will seal the victory for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Great defense by Derek Brooks. Beautiful athleticism. Reads the pass, leaps up, pulls it down. And then I love the way he just drops to the ground to protect the football. That is smart. Because instead of running around and trying to do something with it, taking the chance of getting stripped of the ball, he's not a ball carrier. He made the big play he needed to make. And he puts it to the ground. Here's Brooks right here. He's in the underneath zone. The pass is to Wet Knight. It's an outstanding catch. Three wide receivers in for New Orleans. Ricky Williams takes it outside. Bucks have him. And throw him for a loss. Boy, Good Derek play. Brooks. Derek Brooks just chased him down. You talk about a fast man after on that pass right there. On second and 25. Intercepted. Derek Brooks is brought down at the 25-yard line. The third takeaway of the game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Down and one. It's Bennett again. Got a nice block. Runs outside. Captures the first down. Is a fumble picked up by Brooks. Tampa Bay is out of timeouts. Derek Brooks gets the fumble recovery. The second turnover for the Kansas City Chiefs. Third and two from the Chiefs, 32, hand off to Bennett, good block by Richardson, what a stick in the middle by Derek Brooks. He plugged the gap, Brooks may have stopped him, and indeed he did, Kansas City has got a punt again. Fundamentally sound defense, Derek Brooks' technique right here is absolutely letter perfect. He's going to be coming from the right side, and the ball's going to go off the left here. Derek Brooks is going to come up. He's filling that one gap. Watch the shoulder pad technique right there. And then up through. You see him up through the tackler. Byron Hansbart now in at running back. Gets the first carry. Loses two yards. Derek Brooks on the tackle. Yeah, right there. That's Anthony McFarland in there. Made the play that time. Their first round draft pick at LSU. I don't like it. In the same mold, there's Derek Brooks right here. Leading tackler a week ago. He gets in there along with McFarland. Right in motion. Tanner feels the heat and brought down. Derek Brooks with the sack. His first sack of the season. All day long, Chris Taylor has, and he held on to it. He hesitated. It was too late. You can, you can isolate a little bit more with his speed. Here comes the blitz, and Kitna has to get rid of it in a hurry. Has and a flag, Dick. No flag coming. It was Derek Brooks with the blitz. And oh, okay. 32 is right there. That's why they didn't call the flag. Come with the blitz right inside. It opens up beautifully. And there's going to be a screen set up. Oh, I don't know. That, sh that should have. Getting taking the drop. Stepping up. And the pass is intercepted. And it's Derek Brooks, the linebacker, with the interception, the second of the game. And the Buccaneers will get the ball at the 25 of Seattle. Kidna, third and nine. Here comes pressure. Two ways on Kidna, and the ball is loose, and it is recovered by Tampa Bay. That was a fumble and not an attempted pass.
I don't know if the flag came down again more pressure like the boys talked about at halftime Derek Brooks again and it could the guys at halftime we're talking about it's pressure inside and again Derek Brooks does an excellent job of making a miss they tried to block him he just he gets through Hardy Nickerson <laughs> Five man oh. rush and that is thrown so hard it deflects off Brooks's hands and goes another 20 yards in the air. Has Schlesinger behind him. And for odd throws almost picked off by Derek Brooks. Many say he at the moment is the best linebacker in football. What do you say? I would I would agree with that. You know, I mean he's he's one of those guys, if you run, he can play the run as well as anyone. And if you pass, he can get back there and get in pass and cover anyone. He's also one of the fastest linebackers in football. Slide turns sideways and perpendicular. Right back to throw it. Up the middle, almost picked off by Derek Brooks. Derek Brooks has been all over the place in this game. You know, they, I mean, we see you almost get an interception here. He had nine tackles in the first half. I mean, just watch how active he is now. He reads. He sees it's a pass. He's just going to drop back, drop back, puts his head on a swivel, and then he gets a jump on that ball. He yep. was going to his right and had to come back to nine tackles, and that was the fourth pass he defended in this game. Brock looks, gets it out of there. Finally, incomplete, intended for Olivo. Brooks again. Just watch Brooks here again, how he reads and reads and gets in good position, and how he gets a jump, and he was. He was going to be there to either get the ball or he was going to have a heck of a collision. He does. The ball didn't get there. He took the collision all together when he's healthy. A great field. Here's Greg Hill. Not back to the line of scrimmage. Hit hard by guess who? From the six, Tyrone Wheatley. Caught in the backfield, brought down Derek Brooks. Cons consistency out of that position. And the draw play with four wideouts, and it's read perfectly by Brooks. And it's trapped in the backfield for a loss of three is Dorsey Levins. Bucks fans cheering on their defense, and on first down, they have reason to cheer as Stephen Davis is thrown for a loss. Stephen Davis is buried by Derek Brooks, and a loss of two yards. And out of necessity, that nobody went. Have to throw the ball, and the pass is broken up. It was a bad snap from center, and Brad Johnson looking to throw, but nobody went downfield. And the formula, isn't it? Fall behind the line of scrimmage. Hit by Brooks. The inside receiver. Heard Warner. I tell you what. They get around the ball in a hurry, don't they? Yeah. And they spill it. I mean, that's the thing that they want to do is they call that. Well, this has to be a yeah. big game somewhere. Hard for it to be boring. This is Marshall's fault. And he's not going to get the first down or anything close to it. Third and 13, Bledsoe steps up into the pocket, dumps it out to Fault. Fault is going to be hit by Abraham. The the ball. Ball. Lynch out. has got it. And Lynch comes up with the turnover. And the Buccaneers will take over at the 23 yard line. He's looking for it. And here's Abraham. He comes up and makes the hit. The, 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 the jar is right there. That looked like That's Brooks. Brooks. They're going to run. Second down and five. Ingram is hit before he can get to the first down. And right now, let's check in with James Brown. Hut, hut. He will put it on the ground. And James Stewart gets lit up by a blitzing Derek Brooks. Derek Brooks is invaluable in this team. Not only second and 16, Bats. Pressured again, dumps it outside. A one handed grab by Morton and breaks a tackle. And now loses the, the football. And it's recovered by the Buccaneers. It's like shot. From the shotgun. And here comes the blitz. They almost make it. The pass is picked off by Brooks. Brooks down the sideline. Brooks in the end zone. The Buccaneers. Another. Canell to the fullback, Bob Christian. But Derek Brooks, who has led the Bucks 
in tackles the last couple of years. The play, two tight ends in the game. Canell looking, throws. Well, Anderson the catch. And then Brooks with the tackle. There to Jamal Anderson, but it's not there for very long. You know, one of the... Marched 87 yards down the field on their last possession. Over the top, and Derek Brooks lost his helmet as he made the tackle on Jamal Anderson. Wow. You could hear it up yeah, here. Yeah, you could hear it, and you could see it. And again, this is, this is why Derek Brooks is, I think, the best tackler in the NFL. <laughs> Let's listen. Not afraid of contact. The give is inside to Bryson, and he's wrapped up after a yard by Derek Brooks. But back to Moles, uh, that catch is 45 consecutive games, and although that's a Johnson trying to escape. Oh my! Brooks from in front, and from behind it was 92 Anthony McFarland. Well. You can make a training reel right here out of this open field tackle by Derek Brooks, the weak side linebacker. Johnson, as he does so well, gets out of the box. But watch coming in from the left. Look at the position. Derek Brooks, the shoulder pads right on the belt buckle. Look at this. That is perfection when it comes to making an open field tackle. And he's playing with a painful hit pointer, and that's certainly five yards. And there's a hit in the back. Met by Brooks. No chance for Sean Bryson. Well, that's Monty Kiffin's call, the defensive coordinator for Tampa Bay, calling the run blitz on first down. And that is <laughs> talk about no chance whatsoever. That's a linebacker's three. You get dialed right into the hole, no lead blocker. And that's just like the first day of training camp when you have the nutcracker drill. Third and nine. Good protection. Underneath the peerless price, but can he get? He fumbles the ball, and Tampa Bay has recovered. And here comes Brian Kelly, finally tackled by John Cena. This is just an extra effort on his part, doing everything he could do to get there. Is that Shelton Quarles? Who knocks that ball loose? Right in the backfield, Derek Brooks drops Emmett for a loss of one, showing why he was the defensive player of the month. This guy is good a linebacker as there is in football. Yeah, and this defense is catered to him. This gap right here in the middle of this defensive line is as big as theirs in the NFL. It's so inviting to take it in there, except Brooks is so fast at reading it. Brooks, who's always under control, patiently in the very patient in the shuffle. Is sitting right on top of him. Emmett's second and ten. Jackie Harris in motion. Aikman out of the backfield. That's Robert Thomas, the fullback. He can't haul it in. Falls incomplete. The 47 yard line on first down. This is Falk now, and he's taken down in the backfield by the Pro Bowler Derek. Good effort by Dexter Jackson. Culpepper on first down. Fakes. Struggles. Picked off by Derek Brooks. Derek Brooks as Culpepper was hit just as he let it go. There we talk about John Lynch being old. From the 17. Here is McNair. Intercepted by Derek Brooks. So the Buccaneers dodge that one and they'll get the ball back, still trailing by seven. First down of the 26. Here they come. Blitz is picked up, and then it's a nice play made by Derek Brooks. That's a beautiful play on a pass intended for I. Back in, Jason Brookins, their other running back, is still hurt. Hope to have him back next week for the Ravens. And Allen juggles the pass as he was in the grasp as the ball was approaching him of Derek Brooks. I'll tell you what. John Lynch, Stanford University. Dexter Jason, Florida State University. And now on third and nine, that is an interesting...
interception, and that's Rondi Barber's 10th of the season. A late Christmas gift after it looked like the Bucks had squandered another good opportunity. A deflected pass deflected back into the hands of Rondi Barber. Three deflected passes now for Gerback in a row. Rondi Barber had three interceptions last week against New Orleans. Derek Brooks, the playmaker in the middle, deflects it to Jamie Duncan, who volleyballs it over to his uh, running mate there, Rondi Barber. And Barber on his... Gerback. Intercepted, threw it right into the hands of Derek Brooks. And Brooks is inside the 20, inside the 10, and Brooks is out of bounds at the 1. He hit him right in the numbers. And the numbers were 5-5. Right in the middle of the field is Derek Brooks. Gerback just doesn't look good right now. Watch Brooks leg it out here. I'm almost wondering if this is worth the challenge. Probably not, but I'm sure that Derek would like to think he got in the end zone. Got all the way down to the six-yard line. Three picks on the year now for Brooks as he shows his all-pro form. Yeah, Fourth down and ten from the 26-yard line. Gerback throwing, caught, but well short of the first down by Cadre Ismail. Derek Brooks made the stop, and go figure that one. Well, you got to give it to the Buccaneer defense. They come with pressure. The Preps are home. They have two tough games as well against Baltimore and Philadelphia. Brooks throws to place to oh, oh, Jackson. Oh, 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 oh. The helmet of Derek Brooks. That was Brooks's helmet came off as he hit Willie Jackson. Eric Brooks. Three wide receivers set. Brooks. Intercepted by Derek Brooks. Brings it back to the 47 yard line of 23. Yard return for the your defense and special teams do stuff for you. On third down, Redmond throws back and down. Intercepted by Derek Brooks. He's got some room. The chase is on. Brooks has got blockers. Brooks is going to the end zone. Touchdown. The Bucks finally got one. 96 yard interception and touchdown return by. Defense gets set. From the 47 yard line. Falk and he gets upended. Can't get out of the backfield and that's Derek Brooks. Pro Bowl linebacker. You know, we talk about the strength of this defense. I think any any sport you have to have strength up the middle, and and you got Booker McFarland, Warren Sapp, you know, inside, and, and then you have this guy right here, you know, and he's so strong, Derek Brooks, and then behind him you have John Lynch. And the strength of this defense is right here, right in this middle, and they're always going to have someone that's going to penetrate. So when you get penetration, that means that you know you have you have no cutback. You always have to stay play side and back and on both sides. Second and ten. Lynch with a near pick, and then another near pick by Derek Brooks, who ran one back 97 yards for a touchdown last week in Baltimore. Seven from the 34-yard line. Warner throws intercepted, and this is going to wrap it up. It is Brooks, two weeks in a row, an interception for a touchdown. What a gutsy play! He has a pull hamstring. You see him grab the hamstring. He just pulled a Bo Jackson. He went up the tunnel. Done. Corey Dillon, as he got the ball, he was tackled by Derek Brooks. Empty backfield. Blitz coming. Brooks has got him. And that's what happens. No, that's what happens when you go empty backfield. And here in Atlanta, the Falcons looking to come back. They trail by seven. Johnson hit. Intercepted by Sapp. The lateral to Brooks. And the Tampa Bay defense has scored for the fourth consecutive game. Somewhat, but with Brad Johnson as the quarterback for Tampa Bay, if you make one mistake, and the Falcons did. Well, let's see, was it intercepted in the end zone? by Brooks. He's on the bottom of the pile and he has the football. The fourth Tampa Bay interception on the final play of the game.
out on time offensively, and they better get something done quickly. Oh, another one. Derek Brooks, who has been just a superstar in this young season, and Kevin Johnson, he must have a bullseye on his back. They're really punishing him. Wow, Kevin Johnson, give this guy first dips on the hot tub. That is, in the span of about three minutes, that is the second giant hit oh. that he has taken. But there's so much pressure off a four-man defensive rush. Now they bring an extra man, the screen, and look at White. He's going to be gobbled up for a loss back at the 34-yard line. Brooks and Jackson, Dexter Jackson, in on the tackle. They are rookie from Villanova, impressive in preseason. McNabb looking to get away, and it's knocked down. And the fumble. And the Buccaneers pick it up, and it's Derrick Brooks. That's his fourth touchdown of the year. Three on interceptions. This one on a fumble recovery. And the Tampa Bay defense making an impact here in the first quarter. But here he is starting third down, and McNabb gets clobbered. And it was Derrick Brooks who has scored the only touchdown of this game on a fumble return for a score. His fourth touchdown of the season. Take a look at Derek Brooks right there coming up in the middle of your screen and he's just a heck of a football player especially when he comes in untouched this year. Trying to hang on today to win to go eight and two but Carolina wanted something to say. However this defense is coming up big late in this ball game. Derek Brooks with the tackle. Deep with the ball at the 11 yard line. Can't get it complete to Chris Mangum as he is hit by Derek Brooks. And I'll tell you why Tampa is so good at red zone defense, Kurt, because the field has shrunk. And what are they good at? What is Tampa Bay good at defensively? Keeping everything underneath, keeping everything in front of them, and playing what I call underneath defense. Well, guess what? When you get in the red zone just by where the field ends, it's all underneath defense. That's why Tampa is so good. What a hit by Brooks on Johnny Fisher. <laughs> that, that's as good as a gift right there. When you want to see a form tackle on how you take a guy and wrap him up and bring him down, Derek Brooks just showed us. Horns, the guy that's been the guy he wants. Pressure up the middle, the pass underneath, incomplete. Vic, gonna run. Penalty flag, and Vic is smacked. Derek Brooks. Two. Play action and Vic. Looking for somewhere to throw it. And now he'll try to run. Gets one. Derek Brooks on the stop. Isn't the key Chris Collins work for these defenders for Tampa Bay to stay in their lanes and not try to do too much? Well, you're going to see Simeon Rice. He takes an inside path right here. He's a defensive end, and they were told all week long, stay up the field. Do not let Michael Vick outside of the pocket. But that's what happened. Then you see Derek Brooks, number 55, who's another guy who's having an outstanding season this year, makes the play. Second and seven. Brooks. For Atlanta, down by 18. Is hammered by Brooks. I think it's just about time to go ahead and let that clock run out. Go in at halftime, see if you can't figure something out. Brooks hanging around the middle, basically as a spy on Vic, but this time the spy <laughs> got Christian. Burris straight back into the pocket. Now he sprints up. And Brooks is right there, stops him for a gain of a yard. You know, you just watch Derek Brooks, and when you see what he does, is watch him getting ready to make the play. He doesn't commit himself. 55 is Brooks. Watch this. Here comes Burris out. He just gets himself squared up with the field. There's just no place to run. You're just issuing helmets. Burris. Oh, underneath to Des White. Derek Brooks hit him, and I don't think there's even footprints left after that. You're lucky his shoes didn't stay in the grass. Derek Brooks, you talk about perfect timing. Watch this. He reads it, sees it. Now look at it. Look at deliver. Boy, that's head-to-head. -head. Yeah, but how about... 
Burris with a blitz coming in. It's intercepted. Brooks. Derek Brooks back to the 35. He's had three interception returns this year. Almost had another one. 43 yards on the return. Let me tell you something. He is one of the smartest defensive players in the game today. And you watch number 55, Derek Brooks. He's got his eye on the quarterback, and he jumps this ball. Look at how quick he was. I mean, that was just perfect play by a defensive linebacker. Watch this. He just jumps it. He knows he's going to try to throw the ball to Marty Booker. And he is set. The way he was set up defensively, he was on the far. And just started to sweat. As his 49er offense goes into the no huddle. And the ball's batted up and picked off. Derek Brooks ends up with it. Second turnover of the day. Fourth down and six. That's Johnson making a catch shy of a first down it appears and now a rather generous spot really generous wow. spot. they're giving the spot up very close to first down yardage Brooks made the tackle and again that was a fourth down play and we'll see if where they set the ball down and you can see Brooks is unhappy and I don't blame him watching that play unfold you know what I think he's saying we need to challenge that spot. I think he saw exactly what we saw that there's no way that that ball should have ended up there. So now what they'll do is they'll let them take the measurement. If it's short, they get the ball back. If not, then they may well challenge it. There's just no way. That's not even close. That's on the other side of the 50. Doesn't, Doesn't matter. matter. The spot's short. Down Sims and he goes right through Middleton. Goes right through that double team. Third and eight. And this is going to write a finish. Derek Brooks, who ran back three interceptions for touchdowns in the regular season, does it to cement the Super Bowl. Well, could there be a better way for the Buccaneers to put the ultimate exclamation point on it than the number one defense with the number one defender intercepting a pass and taking it to the end zone? Emergency board meetings now. You're right, both of them very serious about those roles as the pass is incomplete, intended for Todd Pinkston, who juggled it and then got banged by that trustee, Derek Brooks. And we were just talking about the board of trustee, and then the old board of trustee will hit you too, won't he? Yeah, you know, we always see that slant in there, and that's that's that quick thing to the inside, and the linebacker has to take it away. But Todd Pinkston is going to know right now that when he goes in there, Derek Brooks is going to be taking away that slant. I Boom! Yes, sir! Yes, sir, Lynch! I see you, Lynch! Whoa. Yeah, yeah, you all right? I'm going to knock that chest off. Normally, they, they use him in some time in the backfield, but not today. Here is the pass, and it's intercepted by Derek Brooks, and he's going to sail into the end zone for the touchdown. There are no flags down. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as they did last week in the losing cause with Rondy Barber returning it for a score, get one from Brooks. And a 44-yard return on the interception. Side linebacker of Derek Brooks in that strong safety, John Lynch's position. Hambrick is hit for a loss on third and one. He loses a yard. Derek Brooks lost his helmet. First Buccaneer. Forces the fumble. The Saints recover, Tom. Yeah, and watch D. Brooks. No linebacker ever been any better at finding the football and having a great set of hands than... Be about a 50-yarder. On third down, DeLong fires. It's caught and an immediate tackle by Brooks. Down to pick up fourth and six. Checks it down. McCallis has got to get it. That's it. And he does it. That's it. Derek Brooks, the defensive player of the year last year, may have just won the game. This defense has won the game today. Here's the blitz. Hasselbeck, that one almost picked off, and it is intercepted. Derek Brooks 
The all-pro linebacker for the Buccaneers follows the bouncing ball, gets the interception, and the Buccaneers' defense stands tall first. It's... Ooh. There it goes. Play fake. To Wheatley. Line of scrimmage. Walker in motion. Pressure. Ball is loose. The Buccaneers are saying they've got it. Let's see. It is. Turnovers have killed the 49ers, minus 15 in the giveaway takeaway ratio. Wow, and they've been brutal on the road, and Rattay has no idea. Watch Derek Brooks, number 55, moving here. He's going to come off the edge, and what's an overload blitz, they have nobody to block him. And he comes from the backside and is able to get that ball out before Rattay's arm is going forward. See that? His arm was clearly still in the backward motion. And Brooks comes and knocks that football loose. And rolled an incomplete pass now out of the shotgun on third down and eight. Vitt has the football stripped by Derek Brooks. The Buccaneers have recovered. Brooks with the strip. Greg Spires with the recovery. Well, this has inspired Buck football today from the very beginning. And Derek Brooks, the heart of this team, said there's no way. We're going to let this team win this division on our field this afternoon. For Draft, the six-year veteran out of Stanford. Vic pump fake. And now gets rid of it. And Derek Brooks right there. The tackle, Justin Griffith, gain of only one. Now, Derek Brooks is just an amazing player. We talk about Vic and what he can do. Derek Brooks has been doing this for nine years. I mean, his tackling totals, he's a machine. He's a machine right here on the outside. He's a vacuum cleaner when it comes to tackles. Remember like when Dennis Rodman would lead the league in rebounds every year? Well, he wants to get every single tackle the way Rodman wanted every single rebound. Griffith the fullback. Vic to throw. It is broken up by Derek Brooks. Five years ago, he has 1,500 yards in this offense. 34, McCown throws, intended he catches his own bat down for a minus reception on the pass play. At least that's how I think we'll categorize it. Yeah, loss of seven on should've, a pass completion. Should have just knocked this one down. Should have run for it. Yeah, maybe not. Well, he had Eric Edwards there, but yeah. Brooks is able to come up and get his hand on it. Cole Pepper out to Robinson, and Marcus Robinson's wrapped up immediately by Derek Brooks. Wow, Derek Brooks. These linebackers are really fast for Tampa Bay. Derek Brooks covers a lot of ground. And he gets out there and makes the tackle even before the cornerback does. Just a quick three-step drop out here. Look at Derek Brooks. He's there before Derek Brooks is there before Brian Kelly is. Dante Culpepper trying to get a quick score to give his team any chance. And Derek Brooks seals the victory if it wasn't sealed before. Uniforms again today. Short drop for Lossman. Almost picked off. Just a veteran play by Derek Brooks. And he was looking at the end zone. He had a clear field. Derek Brooks just reads J.P. Lossman's eyes the whole way. Lossman buys some time. And who else? Derek Brooks. Screen bats Brooks. Loss of three. Vic lost the football. And the Buccaneers have recovered with a minute seven remaining in a tie game. That was quick, quick pressure by Tampa, and I don't know if Vic ever really had a good handle on that football. Comes right Warwick in right Dunn. here. That ball hit Warwick Dunn. See, Warwick Dunn has, has got to block Derek Brooks on that. Second and 13, Jones. So Rod Marinelli 
coaches the defensive line for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Lovey Smith wanted to... Costly penalties in a 7-0 game. And getting caught back there, Corey Dillon by Derek Brooks. So Derek Brooks inspired a six-yard loss. Very nearly got the ball away from Dillon. Well, he's sneaking up there. He's going to shoot the gap right there. Brandon Gorn is coming down. They're going to try and block him out. But he felt that. Got right up inside there. He almost takes the handoff from Tom Brady against him. He's just not having any time in the pocket either. And playing at home isn't hurting the Patriots either. Bobbling it but holding on is Dillon. And the Dillon will lose yardage. Derek Brooks with the good pursuit. Brunel screen to Cooley. Oh, Cooley lost the ball. Brunel had the best shot at it and may have gotten it. Derek Brooks was the man who knocked it loose. Chris Samuels had the first <laughs> shot at it. Right now, if this is a heavyweight fight, the cards are starting to line up for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Defensively, they're putting balls on the ground. The only thing is, is they're not recovering. They Three at the disposal for McNair, second and 15. Oh, and they fumble. Smith vacuums it in, and then vacuuming him in is Derek Brooks, along with Brian Kelly. It's a loss of two, and they push him back to the 33. Vic with time. He throws, and it is picked off. He was looking for Crumpler, picked off by Derek Brooks, and Brooks might take this all the way. Derek Brooks into the end zone, his eighth career touchdown. Returned at 62 yards. And there is a flag back at the 42-yard line. Led to that win. After the interception, during the return, illegal block in the back, intercepting team number 56. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Tampa Bay keeps the ball. First down. And the man, they struggle. D'Angelo Williams checking in for Carolina, and he is hit in the backfield with extreme prejudice. Derek Brooks put the kibosh on that play. And again, if you're going to blitz your linebackers and try to bring heat, your guys outside have to be man-to-man -man guys, and they have to cover. Watch Derrick Brooks. He's going to walk up, and he's just going to come. And when you're going to bring that kind of heat, you've got to play man-to-man -man cover. The Saints. Here's Reggie Bush as a runner. And not going anywhere. Practically ran right into Derrick Brooks and loses a yard. Looking for the deep out, intercepted Derrick Brooks. And Derrick Brooks has the first turnover today for the Buccaneers. Well, Ben Roethlisberger is trying to throw a ball along the sidelines here. On a Third and seven for the Browns. Anderson, look out. He gets smoked, and he's picked off by Derrick Brooks. Touchdown, Tampa. Looking like the Tampa defense of old, indeed. And that's what they do right there. That's what they used to do is get after the quarterback, make turnovers create those turnovers that was the third one today third interception that one led to a touchdown and again defensively that's what the bucks used to do is score it's reggie bush slip away from kevin carter the ball's not close and was recovered by one of the linemen <laughs> it popped in the air Derek that's an Brooks. alert play Derek Brooks came over there, and I think he put his helmet right on the football. That's a couple of fumbles for Reggie in this game. And it was the tight end, Eric Johnson, who caught the ball. Look at Derek Brooks put the crown of his helmet right on the football. Very fortunate that that went straight up, and, and Eric Johnson was able to get it. Look at this. The rookie, Quincy Black, has replaced Barrett Rude. Breeze throwing short to Bush, and he's hit hard by Derek Brooks. Kerry Collins gives to Lindell White, who gets nowhere. And Derrick Brooks removes his helmet to New York. Everybody out. Campbell to Portis at the six-yard line. Just short of the five. And about two and a half yards short of a first down. Derrick Brooks wrapped him up. Well, you have to wonder, as the Redskins have found their way here, take a listen to this over the middle. Moss motions. Portis. He's got the first down. I no. I don't think no. he does. I thought he had it. 
They stopped them. Big hit stopped Clinton Portis. What a play by Derek Brooks. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Watch that guy. <laughs> Packers need to get to the 45 yard line. Pass deflected out of the arms of Jackson. Picked off into the lateral to Kato June. First turnover of the game, first interception thrown by Aaron Rodgers this season. That's not Aaron Rodgers' fault, though. This is on Brandon Jackson. Gets to the outside. He's turning to run, takes his eyes off the ball. Ricochets. Look at the heads up play. Was it Derek Brooks? Laterals at the Cato June. 25th career pick for Brooks. And then June gains a couple of extra yards. Right now. Low starting field position of the day for the Packers as Ryan Grant is met in the backfield by Derek Brooks. I'll tell you what, Goose, that guy is ageless. It's like he hasn't lost a step. He read that play like there's no tomorrow, man. He's outside. He sees Aaron Brooks holding that ball out. Watch right here. Aaron's going to go right out over here and, and hand the ball off. He sees him. He sees him. He's got that ball out in the air. Boom. He comes right upfield and makes the play. I mean, that's how you go and beat that play by getting penetration. And no one even blocked him on that. Young quarterbacks do is they look exactly where they're going to throw. Watch Derek Brooks right here. Just watching him. Watching him. Brooks. From the 40. Ball comes loose. It's picked up by Jermaine Phillips. And Phillips will take it in for a touchdown. Defense, watch 95. There's Hovan right there against Scott Wells. Push, push, push. Now here comes Ryan Grant to cut inside. Derek Brooks gets his helmet right on the ball. And it's a scoop and score for Jermaine Phillips. They're in Tampa. Matt and Brian. Archer, thanks for another one. Nearly picked off. Derek Brooks had his second interception of the year in his hands. Farad slips around a barber. The pass is dropped. He tried to hit Adrian Peterson, but he dropped it with Derek Brooks covering him. Farad with a great job to slip Rondé Barber on the blitz. And the pass was there, but Peterson dropped it. Watch him shake off the blitz from Rondé Barber. Just undercuts it, throws a perfect strike. And Brooks knocks it out. Everybody out. Barat, short. Andre Allison is a yard loss on the play. Back to the 26. The Buccaneers leading by three. And here is Breeze, and it's nearly picked off by Derek Brooks who had great anticipation. Reggie Bush was the intended receiver there. Boy, Brooks almost had that one. He just, he lost the ball when he dove. Norwood is the running back now. And Norwood gets the call and is tripped up. And there is a great play by Brooks, who traps him in the back for a loss. Kevin. Vargas in the backfield. Couple tight ends, first and ten. Well, look at that kind of chase. Great defense by Derek Brooks, the former NFL defender of the year. It's a loss. Back to the 47 to New York.